So I went to public school in Malaysia. I studied in Miri, Sarawak until I was form 5. And in the middle of form 5, my dad got a new job, so I went to Saudi Arabia. So when I was there, I obviously could not speak Arabic, so I couldn't go to Saudi public school. I went to an international school instead. Everyone in my school was pretty well off, I would say, because most of us could afford to go to private school. I went because my dad's company paid for it. I think the, one of the main other differences you see within public school and international school is how the school itself plays a role in students' socialization. I think when I was in school, teachers were pretty hands-off when you look at how students uh, interact with each other. But in my international school, uh, teachers played a big role. They were, you know, they were really, really active in terms of like facilitating competitions, facilitating extracurricular activities where uh, they actually make sure that you know we commit to it, and you know uh, we actually uh, we do you know very simple impact measurement and impact evaluation in when we look at uh, the school programs. A lot of my exams was presentations. We did drama. Really interesting things like, you know, for, for instance, history, uh, instead of, uh, you know, reading and memorizing about people, I actually became Hillary Clinton for one day. So we had to dress up as Hillary Clinton. Uh, we had to give a presentation to parents and teachers. You know, I had parents coming in asking me, oh, so what do you think about the Iraq war? What do you think America should have done? And I had to answer the perspective of them. I had friends who became Ronald McDonald. I had friends who became Barack Obama. So it was very interesting and it was very fun and it was a very creative way to learn new things. So that was really interesting. And I think when part of international school because parents pay for it, uh, parents also played a really big role when it comes to our education. So I think there was like probably a few times a year that parents would be invited to school to meet the teachers to, you know, to discuss about uh, our progress, uh, whether we talked a lot, whether we were good students, what do we want to do in university. So I had really different, I guess, experiences. I think when I was in public school, uh, a lot of the opportunities for leadership was something that you sort of had to fight for, you sort of had to compete for, uh, you know, like ketua kelas, ketua pegawai, uh, you know, becoming president of a club. Well, I guess in a, in a very small school, you don't necessarily have to do all that because there's not much competition. And however, there's also a lot more focus and I guess attention by the school to make sure that you succeed in whatever that you want to do. So my school had like debaters, uh, world-class MUNers, uh, you know, model United Nations. If I have children one day, whether I would send my kids to either one, I think it really depends on, I guess, the quality of the schools because not international not all international schools are good either because certain international schools are unaccredited meaning that they don't have the accreditation to actually give out high school diplomas some international schools don't really filter uh, the teachers that they employ so it can be very dangerous as well so I think it really depends on the way that uh, I guess you approach learning right so for me I realized that being in public school was not something conducive because I'm not the kind of person that can just look at a textbook read it and then score in my exams I think in regards to student attitudes when you look at both schools I would say public school schools is a lot more discipline in my opinion. So but you actually have teachers who are really concerned in regards to how students behave in schools. I'm not saying international schools don't care, right? But sometimes when you have parents who are paying for the education in a school, it can be very difficult to tell the parent that hey, your, your children is quite naughty actually or you know your children not doing the homework. I think I think I learned better in a different environment which the private school offered to me because that's just how I learn best. One thing that you definitely have there that's not in public school is that you get to meet international friends, right? I had, because my school was in Saudi Arabia, I had friends who was from Lebanon, who was from Syria, who was even from Palestine, uh, you know, that could give me insights into global issues that I probably would not have, uh, you know, learned on my own when I was living in Malaysia. So I think finally, I wouldn't say that one system is better than the other because there's no perfect system, right? I hope that in education in the future, we'll be able to take into account considerations, pros and cons of both kinds of systems.